It has been a remarkably long time since I've posted. I don't think anything on my wall was here before I, yeah, no, it was a plain wall before. So let's start talking about that. My friend, Jellica, is a photographer and she took this photo. It is a photo of her Mustang with my book, Neon Sun, on top of it. This is the title of said book, which was a gift from Jellica. These two are paintings that my cousin painted and those are <laughs> Polaroids that Jellica took both of them. So basically, hi Jellica and thanks. <laughs> Thought I would record a video about what I have been doing over the past 12 months because I have not posted one video. Think you guys would miss me, right? <laughs> basically I had this amazing idea for my fourth book and I remember I had told you guys over my Instagram that I had begun recording a documentary style behind the scenes of every single process or the whole process of how I self-publish, how I organize everything, the ideas, literally everything behind the scenes. But, but when I had this amazing idea and the writing was flowing effortlessly, I was so pleased because when I really feel passionately about something, I don't actually need to try. The ideas just flow. The poetry just runs, literally, like a river. I, at one point, completely hit a wall. It was as if my whole mind went completely blank. No ideas were coming to me, or the ideas were coming to me, but nothing was flowing. None of what I had written sounded effortless. It sounded forced. It sounded just not my voice. So I decided to take a step back and reevaluate. Is this what I'm meant to be doing? Am I meant to be writing? If I am meant to be writing, what am I meant to be writing about? Because it is clearly not this. So then I put the book aside. I didn't look at it, I didn't open it, I didn't think about it. Okay, that's a lie, I did think about it, but, <laughs> but I knew I didn't want the book to be anything forced, anything that is not genuine. So, what did I do after that? I took some time off, I visited family interstate which was amazing. I met a lot of cousins that I knew I had, but when you don't see them so often, you're kind of like, oh my gosh, you're a grown up now. Maybe I'm just old. <laughs> Battery's about to die, so I'll just quickly change it out and then and we're back. <laughs> Before I though continue talking about everything else that I got up to over the past 12 months, I do want to mention that sometimes if you do look at my previous videos, it looks like all these ideas for these poetry books and the poems that I've written have come to me so freely and I just want to clarify that that was the case <laughs> for those because I was so incredibly and still am very passionate about my previous three poetry books but I did want to just be very clear with this particular idea that I had with book four it was coming to me so quickly but then suddenly it was as if dead silence nothing so I wanted to be really clear that it's okay that that happens. That can happen at any point and it's important for me anyway to listen to that because I firmly believe that any emotion you're feeling when you write easily gets translated to the reader. So for me, the importance of stepping back became a, a high priority red flags kind of situation. So I do want to express that if you have experienced that or if you are experiencing it, it's okay to step back and don't force yourself to do anything. Don't put pressure on yourself is what I'm saying. Even if you have given yourself a timeline or a time frame, which I did for book my original idea for book four, you just have to be okay with letting it go and the possibility of revisiting that later. A shipment from order, it's on its way. I love those emails. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I feel like I did a lot, but the time went by so quickly, so I, I'm i probably missing a lot. <laughs> Got my steering wheel fixed. No, that was a while ago. So, let me backtrack. Got my dash lights fixed on my car, so for a... <laughs> Can I say this? Well, they're fixed now, so it shouldn't be an issue, but for a while, the dash lights on my car were not working. So, when I was driving at night, it was... Um, 
pretty interesting. For those who don't know, I have a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang in Venetian yellow. I have owned that car for close to 10 years and I love it. I like waking the neighbors up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so I got my dash lights fixed and then it was not as thrilling, but still thrilling to drive the car at night. <laughs> it's, I guess it's more safe. What else did I do? In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I, I think it was my in day of day of the life, day of the life, day of a life, day of the life. You know what I'm talking about. It was in that video where I mentioned that typically every morning I'll exercise, but I wasn't able to because I had injured my foot. Guess what? <laughs> Thank the Lord, I'm able to exercise again. I was able to begin running again and I love exercising. I think it completely changes your mental health for the better. I think those two play a very big part together. Additionally, I'm really excited to talk about my fourth book. I can't detail it yet, but I will the closer I get to it being published. The idea actually came to me a very long time ago, but I didn't think much of it at the time because I thought it's kind of hard to talk about it because I can't tell you without telling you if that makes sense. So I'll do my best to explain it without explaining it. <laughs> Are you following? Basically, I wrote an entry six years ago, five to six years ago. I loved it. And a lot of people who read it loved it and would say to me they it made them feel a particular way, which was exactly the emotion that I was trying to portray through the entry that I had written. So for a very long time, I've wanted to elaborate on that particular story. And I was finally able to begin writing about it and so that's my new book four and the reason why i'm saying this is because i had written this entry wanted to elaborate on it but felt like i couldn't or didn't really know how to at that time hi i'm currently editing and the reason why i'm jumping in now is because i didn't properly articulate it in that previous video so i'm hoping this will clear it up basically what i was trying to say is that when i did step back from my original idea from book four I allowed myself the opportunity to reevaluate every single previous piece of art that I have ever wanted to write about or elaborate on in this moment of time. So upon exploration of everything I've ever wanted to write about, this idea popped into my head. And when I was presented with an opportunity to give it the justice that I know that it deserves, I ran with it. And here we are. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. I knew it was right for me to persist and begin writing more entries for it simply because of the passion and the emotion that I felt behind it. I had actually written it in only a month and I have been consistently rereading it, formatting it, editing it since then. I cannot wait to share it. But at this stage, uh, all I know that I can share is that you will absolutely love it. Anyway, I look forward to divulging more and talking more in detail about my next book. So until then, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.